Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today, I am here getting ready to do a demonstration of propagating fig clippings. And, you know, just a couple of things to go over. You know, maybe you might be out on the road or you may be at a friend or family home. And, you know, you, you notice a beautiful fig tree, beautiful figs. Tell you what, go ahead and get you a clipping. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get your clippings from here to here. Okay, so I think about a week ago, I, I cut these uh, clippings here off of a tree. And just didn't have the time to go ahead and put them in a pot right away. So what I did, brought them home. Sticking them, stick them in some water. So now it's time to go ahead and get them in the pot and get them propagated. So what we're gonna do right now, and from it sitting in the water, you can actually see where it's starting to try and put on some roots right here. That's roots trying to start. So here we have some nodes right here. Now we have one all the way down here at the bottom. We have one here and also here and here. So we have a right around about four or five nodes on this one plant here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and cut it right in this area here. And what's going to also happen is as this, uh, you know, cutting starting to propagate, starting to grow, you may end up with a uh, uh, fig coming from here, here, and here. So we're going to go ahead and cut it right here. All right, so that's it. And then what I'm going to do for here again, because I want at least about three or four nodes on here. So this one right here, I got three nodes right here. And when I say nodes, you can see where the, the line starts. This is where the leaves on the fig would come out of. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here, right above those three nodes. And one, two, three, and I'm going to cut another one here. And so what we're going to do right now is we have our pots here already filled with soil. And the mixture that you want to use that we use here on the homestead is inside of here we have cocoa core and also perlite with a little bit of seed starter mix inside of here. And so what we're gonna do is just, it's, it's simple guys. Take this here and you wanna make sure that your nodes are facing up and not down because if it's facing down, this thing have to go down and bend the corner to come back up to light. So make sure it's facing the right way when you put it inside of your perlite. And all we're going to do is push it down like that. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of make it real nice and tight around with the dirt inside. And so we're going to go ahead now and do the rest. Okay. And another thing, guys, I, you know, I want to make sure I give you guys a, the proper process of how to go about doing it. What you always want to do as well is scrape that bark right there. And what, that's, what, that's, what that is going to do is stimulate growth. Okay? And so, got to scrape right there like that. And you stick it in. And, of course, you want to make sure kind of compact that dirt around it and as you can see mine's is compact all the way down so what I'll do I'll go ahead and throw a little bit more dirt on top of it all right. sticking it in So for this big one here, uh, my wife actually wants us to go ahead 
and put this big baby here in the dirt just like this and so we're gonna give it a shot you can already see that it's putting on some roots and so we're gonna go ahead and stick this baby in we got a big old pot here for this one and we're gonna go ahead and stick them in and fill them on up with dirt and I want to show you all another thing here this fig plant been inside of this cup for six weeks and I just want to show you all the root the root growth on this fig tree here and as soon as the first frost is gone what I'm gonna do it will be going outside and it will be going in the ground and that's that's one of the things as well that I want to encourage everyone Get outside and get your hands dirty. Even if you may plant something and it did, didn't come the first time, get back out there and keep on trying. Because I'm telling you, you want some kind of food outside, inside, outside in your yard. Something that when that time comes, you can just go on out and pick a fruit and eat and enjoy it. Because... The time will come when there will be no more store. So get you some trees and plant outside. Just want to thank you all for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one.